I'm actually filming this on Christmas Day But it's so funny because right now as I'm filming this and I'm back home for the holidays It's actually six degrees in Montreal with no snow and it just doesn't feel like December, it feels like I'm visiting in the month of October. Actually, it's weird over here because two weeks before I came here, it was snowing. My parents were telling me that it was actually quite cold. But when I came here, there was no snow and the temperature is quite nice. Now, it says it says minus two, but with the wind factor, it could it, it would have been like minus five, minus ten. It's not because it's like warm. And yes, I did say warm in winter, but I still respect some winter outfits rules that i have who knows maybe in january and february actually i do know that january and february will be much worse but yeah so i'm actually just going to tell you little outfit formula styling tips for a true real winter because i grew up with the 45 centimeters of snow minus 40 minus 30 i i am an expert in that field and also it's just funny as a canadian to see on Pinterest winter outfits inspo and it's just like those European girls with like those little jackets and all. I couldn't do that that was not possible for me growing up here okay but actually really the fact that I'm there's no snow it's hilarious and I'm not complaining because I, I do love not seeing snow in winter yeah I really do so thank you I think that was my mi Christmas miracle I know people wanted snow but no thank you okay First tip that I have is to invest in basics. Without basics, your outfit, your wardrobe will crumble, especially in winter. I know that Uniqlo has great um, long sleeves, basics, and leggings. Invest in leggings, stuff that you can put underneath your jeans, your trousers, because, hey, you want to be warm. Let me tell you something. The, I've been back then, like 10 years ago, if you were to tell her, oh, I've been wearing leggings, I would be like, ew, no, ew, ew, I'm not, I, I, want, I don't want to be a grandma. Now, I'm rocking those leggings underneath my trousers because the cold is an enemy of mine, okay? I don't want it. No. I need to be warm. So anything that's long sleeves, leggings, thick socks that you can put over your leggings so your leggings doesn't just like, because that's, that's not the feeling that you want. So ensuring that you thick socks can the leggings perfect and then when you master your when you have your basics now comes the art of layering so honestly two three la layers is actually fine okay there are some days when it's like minus 40 you might need five layers but these are not the days because i from what i remember generally you need if you have too many layers and there's not enough hot air between the layers something like that it might do like the counter effect of you're actually going to be cool even though you have multiple layers actually speaking of layers i have this with this who is what the fuck and then wearing, ah, whoopsie you have to tuck with the art of layering you have to tuck well i have a beautiful red skirt and underneath that skirt i have another so the art of layering with the layers you can do a legging with trousers or tights under the pants because sometimes tights might work depending on the shirts and undershirt with like a cute shirt and an, a sweater or a hoodie and the thing that I like to do is that have a pop of color with um, your shirt and a simple top so sometimes I have a you know especially with sweaters sometimes sweaters can be like really boring but if you have a cool top that is, I don't know, like from spring or summer, and you can put it underneath it. It just adds a nice pop of color, which is really nice. You do, you might have some interesting hoodies where you can, um, wait, especially with your coat on, um, if it's like a beautiful blue and then your coat is black, all that stuff. Try it, it's really nice. Oh my god, one day on my way to uni, I was doing the, like, a, what's it called? I was like changing tube lines and Sometimes I have to walk to change the lines, but I just I remember that morning Everyone had their black coats on which was kind of depressing, but then there was one person with an orange Coat and I was like, oh this person's not from here because You're on here a little you're literally a cone Like a traffic cone you're not from here. So I think you're not from as I'm not even from London. So like 
no shame to them, but everyone was like, with the black coats, I was also having a black coat, but it was just like, ooh. So if, if everyone had like, I don't know, a specific hoodie that was like very sp special or a beanie, but yeah, I'm going, I'm coming with beanies. Now, when I say with the art lyrics, I think you can go crazy, and these might be controversial opinions or like styling tip. These are skirts over pants, dresses over trousers, even shorts with tights, but these have to be thick tights. And if you don't invest in thick tights, your outfit will crumble. So you have to be careful with that. And you can also do like the baggy shorts, but like the tights and also the thick socks. And speaking of thick socks, if you're Canadian, you know those roots socks, the great ones with the white and red. <laughs> And then they peek over the boots. <laughs> this is like peak Canadian culture. Like if you know, you know. Mm. And I'm going to write that style this summer. And wait, what did I say this summer? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this winter. Okay, so that was the art of layering. And I hope you do it that way. Now, <laughs> there's a big dilemma with looking cute and staying warm. As a kid, I would have done anything to look cute, okay? Oh my god, this just like, uh, like old memory just like resurfaced. So in elementary school, it was mandatory to wear those big winter pants. Like when you're going skiing, you, you have those, people have big winter pants. And I hated those. I hated those. So at school, you would wear them when you're going like for recess. But on weekends and all that stuff, I was not going to wear them. So when I arrived secondary school, and when they said, oh, it's not mandatory anymore, no one wore those winter pants. Everyone's like, yeah, we're adults now, we're teenagers. No winter pants. But <laughs> I did not master at that time the art of layering. So there were days where I was crying because it was so cold outside. Mmm. Wait. <laughs> no. But now, now that I'm a grandma, 21 year old grandma, I am mastering the art of layering. And although, the scope between looking cute and like the Venn diagram of looking cute and staying warm is quite small it's still possible okay here's the thing i would say you can allow yourself to break one rule and my rule is to not wear winter boots i will rock my sneakers even though there, even if there's snow i will have my sneakers on i don't know why i think no there's something about winter boots that can actually ruin an outfit and I don't like that, so I will have my sneakers on. Now, if it's like very, like if there's like 45 centimeters of snow and a lot of ice, I will wear my winter boots. But generally, I think no winter boots, sneakers all day, every day. Yes, yours like breaking rule could be you know what? Let me have just a one cute top, but like my winter coat is staying on. I don't know. It's you figure out your own rule. To respect now if you plan on breaking all the rules and you just want to be cute with and have no intention of staying warm you need to plan out your day there's no oh let's see where the flow goes there's no that none of that it doesn't apply in winter if you want to be cute all day every day you stay inside saying that i go to the cinema go to the the mall you're not doing skating outside there's none of that okay so you have to like plan out your day, make sure that I think everything goes. And my last big aspect is the art of accessories. Oh my god! Oh, colorful beanies, colorful scarves. Okay, but not that I'm seeing gloves. Okay, here's the thing: those little skinny gloves that people see like to make it fancy. That's nothing. That's to go to church. Fancy gloves that you, okay? To stay warm. That's not thing it's nothing it's like the equivalent of earrings okay it does nothing it's just like there to look pretty uh-uh if you want like to say one like you have the big mittens the big gloves these ones are great like if you want to do like a snow fight they're perfect speaking of colorful beanies and scarves or hoodies i used to work at lids yes me I used to work at lids but it was like it was such a good experience i think that's like one of the best student jobs that i've ever had and essentially with any beanie you can customize so they have a big catalog of um like designs like from flowers to animals to um hockey stuff i don't know and you can stitch it onto your beanie and i think they can also do it on certain apparel so like um like on a hoodie like here or maybe on the hood something like that so you have to check and it's like ten dollars ten pounds 
15 pounds if you can also put text if you want if you don't want a, a design and you can always digitize your own logo or something like that which that would be like a 25 dollars 25 pounds extra but yeah and you can bring your own beanie to customize so that's always good and you don't have to do beanies you can do those with like caps and all that stuff so like that was a perks of like lids and it just adds your personal touch so you can always do that if you want to like add but also pins a lot of people like to put pins around the bags so i wouldn't put on beanies uh, I, I wouldn't put on hoodies or anything but if your beanie is a center material and you want to add pins I think this could be a great way to um, make it your own personal style. Now, I want to say with coats, also you just need one winter coat. You don't need to have a whole collection of winter coats. But now, if you're bourgeoisie and you want to have a red coat, then rock your red coat, sweetie. Okay, I don't know what to tell you. But honestly, colorful coats. There, there's no. I don't think there's an urgency of having multiple coats from different colors. It's fine. When it comes to scarves, do you have multiple ways of? Do we, wait, I don't have a scarf. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I have this beautiful blue scarf. However, I have to like make sure to remove the lint. Is that the right word? I don't know. But yeah, so there's multiple ways of wearing a scarf. And um, I think like, I, I like to do this. Like, multiple. <laughs> so like, like I'm making sure no one is coming this way. Okay? And then obviously the popular now some people might just do simple like this they do half and then they just put it around their neck and do like this or what my mom likes to do she likes do one thing like this and then she, she hates having wind in her back so she might do something like this i don't know how she does it i don't want to ask and then i think like a popular thing now is like the like the little hood baklava is baklava? I feel like I'm saying it wrong because baklava could be the dessert or it could be what I'm about to do, which is no, the little hood. But then again, if you have a thin scarf, there's a big hole in the back. And when there's wind, you don't want that. But if you have a hood, um, it could just having the blue peak, the color of your hoodie, uh, of the scarf peak on top of the hood, it could be nice. I have to be sure that there's no like blue lint because as I'm wearing this my hair also comes becomes blue with all the little pieces that are left I don't like that so yeah the art of styling your scarf and then if you have a bag just pins or if you have like little stuff that you could put you could do a bow and all that stuff that's pretty much it really when it comes to winter style and all that stuff and yeah let me check my notes yeah, and I think that's pretty much it, really. So, I just know Fe January, February are the worst months when it comes to winter. But we're gonna get through it, okay guys? And with that being said, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!